really great house. Two story, about 2,200 square feet, unfinished basement on a beautiful level lot. And we're down in Tamworth. We're about a mile from the corner of Route 16 and Ossipee if you want to run to White Lake House of Pizza for something to eat or Hobbs Tavern or any of the other wonderful places down in that area. Plus you're a hop, skip, and a jump to Mount Washington Valley or to Meredith and Winnipesaukee. So you've got everything around here. King Pine is just up the road. You're part of the Tamworth community, so you are uh, able to go on Shakurawa Lake. Uh, there's also the Barnstormers down there and some wonderful things including the town of Tamworth has a visiting nurse program that's part of your taxes. Currently we're in the foyer looking out to the living room. There is the front door and there's a landing upstairs as well as down. This front landing here makes a great mudroom entrance. There's a double closet there and a wonderful place to take your boots off, hang your coat up, and a very welcome feeling. One of the things I love about this house is the great floor plan, and it's it got a wonderful flow to it. So from here, I'm looking out towards the kitchen, and there's the formal living room. This beautiful fireplace is a wood fireplace, and it's got a beautiful oak mantle that they've antiqued. Gorgeous big windows. All of the windows in this house are large. They're double hung paradigm windows with the interior mullions to make it easy to clean. And that wood fireplace is a wonderful feature. You could certainly add a, a propane if you prefer that or a wood stove, but it's also nice to have an open flame. There are French doors that can close off to make this more of a formal parlor or a quiet area if you prefer. The den is across the hall here. And I'll go there in a minute I love the chimes. But here we're walking into the dining room. Another gorgeous room, very sunny. The backyard gets great sunlight, especially in the afternoon. So this is more of a formal dining area and we're right off the living room and as you can see, we're also right off the kitchen. Now there's a big floor space between here and those stools, so if someone preferred to have a kitchen table, you could certainly have one there. But the bar stools also serve a great purpose. This kitchen is great. It's big, it's sunny, it's got lots of cabinets, lots of counter space. There's a homework desk here, which I like that idea. You can look over your kids' shoulders as they're on the computer. And then you have these sliders out to a back deck. Lots of afternoon sun. Lots of counter space. And lots of cabinets. There's another angle showing you how easy it is that it flows from the kitchen area to the dining room and then over to the den, which is this room over here that we haven't walked into yet. So the way they set this up when they have a home built 
in 2007. This was an optional room for uh, guest quarters or uh, what they've called a den. And it's got pocket doors so you could make it into a guest room, add a closet easily. And if you've got a mother-in-law living with you, you could also convert the half bath down here to a three-quarter bath fairly easily. But as a den, it serves its purpose. Both of these doors are pocket doors. So if the kids are playing video games or got the TV on and you want to be in that living room over there in a quiet space, that would be easy to do. So off the kitchen, there's also a half bathroom. The half bathroom has a laundry. I think this setup is really nice. laundry. And the other nice thing about it is this door heading out to the back. It's actually the side yard, so if you wanted, you could easily put a two-car garage and or breezeway off this end of the house, and you've got the door right there. I'll take you on a little tour upstairs. Great landing upstairs and a four bedroom layout. There's a huge linen closet up here. And here's one of the four bedrooms. Perfect bedroom for kids. Got two big beautiful windows out facing out front. And a nice deep double closet. The second of the two bed uh, four bedrooms up here. It's also got beautiful windows facing the back, so you get lots of afternoon sunshine. There's also two bathrooms uh, on the upstairs level. One is in the master bedroom and the other is here. It is a full bath, which means it's got a tub and shower. This room they're set up, set up as a office, but it is the fourth bedroom up here. It's also got a good sized closet. Not a double, but a regular size closet. And it's got a beautiful sunny window. And nowadays people are looking for office space, so there's a great place to be able to close your door and work from home. And then the last bedroom up here, I love the way it's set up all the way to this side of the house, is the master. Master has great space to it, nice high ceilings, big beautiful windows. And a nice deep closet. The other thing that's special about this master is its bathroom. So it's got his and her sinks on either side of the tub. She can see the sunshine coming in on that tub. Probably can see the stars and the moon from there too. But it's a nice deep corner tub. Second sink. Privacy door for the toilet. 
toilet and then it also has a shower stall. Quick little tour of the basement. It's oil forced hot water heating system. You've got an electric, fairly new actually, hot water heater. A bulkhead to the backyard, which is next to that deck. And then plenty of extra space for finishing a prop of the basement if you want more room. And we're back to the kitchen and on to the back porch. Nice sunny level yard. It's in a pine grove, which is quite beautiful. Reminds me of being on vacation. And this property actually abuts the common area. There is 1.6 acres here, and then it abuts uh, the association common area. There's only a very slight association fee. It's $50 a year. And basically that includes common area maintenance and insurance. And there's the door from the side where we were near the kitchen and the half bath. And as you can see, a ton of place to put a two-car garage and a breezeway. Lots of flat, level, sandy place to put your, uh, your garage and breezeway. And this is a circular driveway. Thank you for visiting. This is 514 Silver Pine Path in Secaucus Pines.